the New York Liberty has defeated the Chicago Sky 91 to 76. Now, guys, what a game. 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 Um, Kayla Thornton, she's a fun player. She just always does her thing. Always, always, always does her thing. Um, as a as a role player, she could she could she could do she can she could do whatever. Like her role is is fluid. If if they need her to start, she gonna start. If they if they need her to um, um if they need her to shoot three pointers, that girl gonna say she gonna line right up. She know what her spot is right in that corner, three point shot. She rarely she rarely shoots. Um, like that last three pointer was sort of like closer to the top of the key, and usually she don't be doing that. Usually she don't be doing that. Usually it's like ma- basically corner. Uh, it's basically corner. Um, but the New York Liberty, they have a rough game, I would say. Um, they didn't play that great, to be quite honest with you, until until the third quarter. Um, it kind of went on a run of, of sorts. Um, and then as the game progressed, this fourth quarter, they just unleashed. In this fourth quarter, they unleashed. All right, in the first half, the Chicago Sky had it. Like they were, you know, the, the Sky, the Sky were playing well. They were playing very well. Um, led in the uh, at the end of the first, led at the end of the second and third quarter. The uh, New York Liberty starts started to come back. They started to um, to to look better. They started to actually uh, play down low a lot more and, and, and get and get makeable baskets. We also saw, you know, Angel go out uh, for a part of that, a part of that third quarter, and um, the New York Liberty just started to have momentum. And then once you start getting your shots going on the inside, then the outside, the outside shots starts to open up a lot more. Um, and then it was just three after three after three after three. Like we, we just saw it in the last couple minutes. Kayla Thornton, that's just what she does. That is that is one hundred percent what what she does. Um, and for for um, the New York Liberty, they run off the speed of Stewie and off the speed of Sabrina Ionescu. And in that in that um, in that third quarter, Sabrina Ionescu started going off. And in the first half, Sabrina did nothing really in terms of scoring. She had she had like two points at the end of that um, at the end of that first half. And then in the second half, she started getting that three point shot going. Um, she ends up finishing the game with. 21 points 19 of those were in that second half and when you talk about when you talk about this this new york liberty team hey they live and die by the three and today the three was working for them they were 13 of 23 from the three-point line uh they were passing the ball really really well in this game and and the thing i also liked about the new york liberty is the fact that they were able to um to stay in their bag absolutely stay in their bag and they stayed patient. First first half was not the best. Came raring to go in that second in that um, in that second half in that four, in that third quarter specifically, and that translated even more into that fourth quarter where they just they they went off. They went off in that in that fourth quarter. They absolutely went off in that fourth quarter. A, a couple things that I thought were sort of misses in this game. Um, one was in the first half the New York Liberty's ability just to to not rely so much on the three point shot. But again. I felt like once their inside game started working, we started seeing the outside game working a lot more. And then they were going back and forth kind of outside to inside. And that's that's successful basketball right there. That is successful, successful basketball. Now, now for um, – in terms of individual performance, uh, John Quill Jones – you know, had a had a really good game, like a really really good game. She was um she was she had 18 points in this game, 13 rebounds, a double double for her. Um, you know, Brianna Stewart, 19 points, six uh, six assists, which is phenomenal. Um, you know, uh, Brianna Brianna Stewart, uh, her and Courtney Vandersloot were tied um, in assists, so six uh, assists for both of those players. Um, Courtney again, she's not she's not gonna score like that. She's not gonna score. But she is going to pass the ball. Uh, I will say this: uh, you know, Courtney Vandersloot did get cooked uh, on defense quite a bit. Um, but what I noticed for the Chicago Sky is they actually didn't take advantage of it as much. You have guards for the Chicago Sky that are that are much faster um, than the guards on um, on the New York Liberty in terms of like um, on, on the on the offensive end. And I didn't see them take players as much as they should have. Um, the guards, the Sky guards minus Kennedy Carter, really did 
leave a lot more to be desired in terms of their play. Um, Leonie Feebage is just phenomenal. Um, I, I am a huge fan of several um, um, players in the W who's, who's, been, who's, who's played overseas. Uh, Feebage is one of those players for the New York Liberty. Also, I'm a big fan of Julie Van Lu, who plays with the Washington Mystics. Um, there's there's quite a few um, there there's quite a few um, players who played overseas in Europe who are absolutely balling this season in the WNBA, and I love to see it. I think Feebage is y'all. She's a straight up she's a straight up baller. Now we talk about Maureen Johannes, and y'all Maureen Johannes is fantastic. But I feel like Leonie Feebage actually gives um, gives the um, the Liberty actually a little bit more than um, you know than than what they had last year because uh, Feebage, yes, she's not like the fanciest of passers, but Feebage can shoot that ball. She can absolutely shoot that ball. She had 13 points in this game, four of five from the three, and she stuck with that. Her game is three point shooting, and that's what she did in this game. Um, in terms of other players, Kayla Thornton, I talked about it at, right at the end of this game. Kayla Thornton just continues to be Kayla Thornton. I mean, four or five from the three-point line. She just, she's just fantastic. Like, she just is. Like, I, I, don't, I don't know what else to really say about Kayla Thornton. She stays in her bag. Her bag is three-point shooting. She's going to stay in the, either the corner or sort of like that, um, um, or um, like a couple feet from the corner. That, that's kind of like her, her range right there. Um, and I thought that she played well in this game. I thought she played really, really well, staying in her bag, not getting too crazy um, with, with what she was doing on the court. Um, and, hey, it's good to have a three-point assassin. It's good, it's good to have a three-point assassin in this game. Um, guys, th- this game was a sellout. They did announce a sellout. So 17-plus uh, thousand fans came out to watch this game. Um, and yeah, there's lots of draws in the WNBA. Absolutely. These fans are, are coming. A lot of them are coming out to see the New York Liberty win another game, but also the Chicago sky was a, a draw as well. Angel Reese, Camilla Cardoso, big names, um, uh, for, uh, East coast fans to want to come see. Uh, so I'm very, very happy, uh, that folks showed up and show out in terms of the attendance for this game. And they, they did see a really good game. They really did. They really did see a really good game. Um, but yeah, so that's that's the New York, that's the New York Liberty. Now let's go on to the Chicago Sky. The Chicago Sky had a really good three quarters, really good three quarters. Um, they yes, um, Holden Oates yes says I'm proud they held on as long. Yeah, the Sky did hold on as long as they could, but the fourth quarter was just a little bit too much. But to be honest with you, the Sky still could have won this game. Um, now here's some adjustments that. Um, and, and you guys know this. I am I am a um, fan of Teresa Weatherspoon. I think she is. Um, yes, absolutely. She's she uh, she's not um, ultimately where she will be in terms of coaching and some of some of her decision making. But I still completely believe that she is the future for uh, for the squad. And and yes, I would have played Camilla um, in that third and fourth quarter. Uh, she was she sat on the bench way too long, and then she got back in in garbage minutes when the game was basically over, uh, in that fourth quarter. I I don't. The sky could have won this game, and again, Kennedy Carter was gassed. A huge portion of this game, Kennedy Carter was gassed. She was tired, guys. Um, you know, she ended up playing 32, 32 minutes in this game, um, and when your top player. That was straight up balling in that for in that um, first quarter. When she starts to get gas, take her out the game for two minutes, three minutes. Bring her back in. She's going to be a lot fresher. Her shots are not going to be as short, and she's going to and and her 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 mind is going to be a lot sharper in terms of um, uh, decision making. Um, that's something that didn't happen as much, um, and we just saw her sort of tired playing playing her heart out she she really did she kennedy carter is going is going to play her heart out and if she's on the court she's going to give it all she has but at the same time you need to use your rotation smarter and yes the sky does not have a great bench they don't they don't have a great bench and that's something that they need to work on absolutely um they need they need to you know uh hit the waivers and see who they can pick up for that for that last spot um but Yes, the bench is inconsistent, but I do believe 
what they should have done is 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 in that second quarter taken Kennedy Carter out for about two minutes when it was about um when it was about um I would say like five or six minutes left in that in that second quarter. Kennedy should have got taken out for about two minutes, brought back in, and um I think she would have been a lot a lot sharper to finish that second finish that first half out. Um for the Chicago for the Chicago Sky, they don't really have a bench. They don't. They don't. The only bench players that really play is Izzy and um, Dana. Uh, today, Dana was terrible. Uh, Dana was trying to pass the ball, and I don't understand that. Um, when you, for me, if I'm if I'm coaching the Chicago Sky, I am telling Dana Evans, Dana, the ship has sailed for you being PG one. The ship has sailed. You are not PG one. You are not. You are not the the point guard for this squad. What we need you to do is we need you to come in the game and shoot. We know you can shoot. We need you to play free, and we need you to, we need you to shoot. Uh, but unfortunately for her, she I think it seems like she has it in her head that she has to um, be a point guard, which leads her to passing, doing some terrible passes, like some absolutely terrible passes. Um, and I just it doesn't make any sense to me. It it, it really doesn't. Um, when you the ship has sailed, Dana Evans needs to only be thinking, shoot the basketball. You are a shooting guard. You are no longer a point guard. It, it's over. It is, it is over. So stop trying to do these. Uh, when you, when you shoot, you're shooting, you like, you, you trying, you're doing a, a shot attempt, but you're actually passing. So like, you're going up for the shot, and then you wind up passing at the last second. You can't do that. You're not a point guard. You cannot do that pass well. Stop doing it. Stop. Stop with the crazy passes. You are not that. All right? You are in the game to score the basketball. That is what you do. You do it very well. You have done it for several years for the Chicago Sky at a at a very very high quality level, getting um, getting um, three point shots, playing with defensive intensity. Um, get the point guard out of your head. Like, I really do think that that's hurting her. I I, I really do think that's hurting her. Um, the fact that she has like oh I need to I need to be a point guard. I need to pass. I need to do. No, play free. Your job is to play defense, play, play full court defense like you did last year, full court defense, shoot three pointers, and that's about it. That, that, that's, that's your, that is your, um, your game, all right? That is your game. Don't pass the ball. And, and if people call you selfish, whatever, do what you do well, all right? Do what you do well, and that's play defense and shoot, all right? So that's what I'm. That's what I'm. That's what I'm telling Dana. If I'm if I'm a part of this uh this coaching staff for the for the Chicago Sky, Dana, shoot, don't think about nothing else. Shoot, play defense. That's it. All right. Um, <laughs> Bear said in my Twitter voice, Dana, you ain't like that no more. <laughs> oh man. Um, but like the thing is, like, I'm a big Dana Evans fan, and I and I believe in her abilities in the W. Like I really do. Um. Yeah, yeah, uh, CS. Uh, she only played uh, seven minutes because she played so bad in the seven minutes that you couldn't put her back in the game. You, you, you couldn't put her back in the game because she stunk it up so bad. She stunk it up so bad, so she had to get taken out. Um, and, and, and I know the, like, I know her talent. That's the thing, guys. Like, it's, it's not like Dana Evans sucks. She doesn't. It's that she is completely playing out of her element, and she can't do it. I thought she could. Coming into the season, I thought that Dana Evans could be our PG one. I said it. I, I, I had like in the in my preseason um, videos and whatnot. I was like, oh, Dana Evans, Dana Evans is PG one. I thought she could do it because similar, similar to um, I thought she was going to be like a like a Courtney Williams type of player. Where um, you know last year Courtney Williams came and came to the Chicago Sky as like a hybrid type of guard who just kind of did a little bit of everything. Um, and Courtney Williams. Uh, actually, uh, she was forced to play point guard uh, for the for the entirety of last season. She was forced to play point guard, and she was she was not that great to start, but she um, but she got better and better and better and better. Now at the point now she Courtney Williams is leading the leading the um, she's not with the Sky anymore, but she's leading the Minnesota Lynx um, as their starting point guard. Don't call her a point guard because she don't like when people call her a point guard. She don't think she's a point guard. But still, like, I thought that we were going to get, like, 
a similar thing with Dana Evans, which is why I was like, yes, she's our point guard, because I saw I saw the transformation that Courtney Williams made into being a player that can play the point guard position very, very well. Um, but that did not happen for Dana Evans, which is unfortunate, is very, very unfortunate. But, you know, it is what it is. Um, you got to accept where you're at and move on. And the ship has sailed on Danny being a point guard. Stop thinking about point guard. Stop passing the ball. Shoot and play defense. Because you can do that at a very high level. Very high level. All right. Con- continuing, continuing on, continuing on. Let's talk about um, the other players for the Chicago Sky. Um, let's talk about... Um, let's talk about Isabel Harrison. Isabel Harrison continues to play well. I think she does well with her minutes. Uh, so today she played 28 minutes in this game. She ended up with 12 points, 12 rebounds, so a good double-double by um, Izzy. She was efficient at it as well. Um, Izzy, Izzy is a fantastic player to come off the bench. Great six woman for the Chicago Sky. I think she is by far the, um, the only real consistent player that comes off the bench for the Chicago Sky. Um, and she gives great minutes. Um, you know, one thing, one thing to know is that we see Izzy, um, play a lot of minutes with Angel Reese and they play well together, but you, you lose a little bit on, uh, the defensive end when you have a player like Izzy and Angel in the game at the same time, because yes, Angel Reese can get some rebounds and whatnot, but, Um, there are times where you just really do need a bigger body in the paint because it's not just all about rebounds. It's about having someone in the paint who can block shots. Yes, Angel technically can block shots. Izzy can technically block shots. But, like, the real shot blocker for the Chicago Sky is Camila Cardoso, and she was on the bench for the majority of that second half. I didn't like that. Camila Cardoso only played 20 minutes in this game. It's not that Izzy played bad because she didn't. Izzy played well. But the future for the Chicago Sky team is Angel, Kennedy, and Camilla. All right? That is, that's the future of this team. And you need Camilla to know that you have confidence in her to finish out this game, to finish out games. You, you, you have confidence for her to finish it out because you know that she can make stuff happen, and she can. Camilla played great in the minutes she played. She played great. She played absolutely great in this game. She had eight points. She had eight points, seven rebounds. Again, she only played 20 minutes. Only played 20 minutes in this game. Um, barely played in that second half. Um, and I don't think Camilla did anything to warrant uh, getting get put on the bench. Yes, Izzy was playing well. Izzy was playing well. But at the same time, you give up defense when you, when you take out uh, Camilla. You give it up. Because it's not... The opponent doesn't have to worry about um, uh, whether or not they're going to get in the paint because your shot blocker is not in the game. Your, your, your shot blocker is not in the game. She's, she's on the bench. And, yes, Angel and Izzy are getting rebounds. But at the same time, like, you need someone who is going to make the opposite team afraid to get in the paint. That's what Camilla does because she's tall and big and she's going to block your shot. Yes, Camilla is not as offensively skilled as Isabel Harrison. She's not. Izzy can 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 do uh, um, a long mid range shot. She can she can do a bunch of moves at the basket. Izzy can do a lot. All right, but you give up the defensive stuff when um, Izzy and Angel are both in at the same time, and Camilla is sitting on the bench. The tough part is neither Angel or Izzy can play the three. That's a tough part. That is a tough part. Um, uh, it would be it would be easy, simple, easy, good if if um, if one of them was able to play the three, but they can't. Angel doesn't have a shot. Angel's dribble is way too high and way too wild. She would get the ball stolen constantly if she played a three. Um, yes, she can dribble as a post player, but like if you watch if you watch um, Angel dribble. In a lot of ways, it, it sort of reminds me of, um, I'm going to just say this. It sort of reminds me of Haley Jones a little bit. Um, Haley Jones is a player who um, they did an experiment last year to try to make Haley Jones into a into a, a, a point guard. I don't think it's working. I don't think it's working. Haley Jones needs to go back to being a, um, a three or a four. Um, but when Angel dribbles, 
it reminds me a lot of Haley Joe's like last year and whatnot, where it's just, the dribble is way too high. It's way, way, way too high. You get the ball stolen. Um, it, it's, it's kind of out of control of, of sorts. Um, and there is potential. Absolutely. There's potential for her to become a three. There's potential. She's not there yet. And so I think that um, you can't have Camilla, Angel, and Easy on at the same at the same time. That would be fantastic, actually. That would be fantastic if you could, but right now you can't um, because um, Izzy doesn't have the speed to do it. Angel, I don't think, has the handles to do it, doesn't have the shot to do it. Um, and you just have Izzy or uh, you have Kennedy playing, playing her butt off, doing as much as she can, um, and she needs help. She needs help. You know, yes, Marina Mabry uh, can, can score as well and, and make some stuff happen. Um, she had 15 points in this game, uh, 15 points, uh, six rebounds, uh, six assists, I should say, for Marina Mabry. Um, for Kennedy Carter, she had 22 points, uh, five rebounds in this game. Um, they need more. The Chicago Sky team needs a lot more. Um, and when we talk about Lindsey Allen, guys, there was a stretch in that, was, it, was that the third quarter? Yes, that was the third quarter, where um, Lindsey Allen scored five points in about 30, 40 seconds. All right, um, she... She, I believe it was Courtney Vandersloot that was guarding her. Um, and she took, um, it was either Phoebe or Courtney Vandersloot. And um, uh, Lindsay Allen took her man off the dribble, got straight to the basket, easy score, one play. Um, next play, come down, um, uh, gets the ball again, easy score at the, uh, at the basket. Not easy score, tough score at the basket, gets the foul, makes the shot, makes the free throw. And... That was it. She finished this game with five points. She scores five points in 40 seconds, and that's it. And I, I am a massive fan of Lindsey Allen. I think, I think Lindsey Allen is one of the rare true point guards left in the w, WNBA. Um, but the thing is, at some point, you have to recognize the advantage that you have. Lindsey Allen could have taken her man off the dribble most of the game. Phoebe and Courtney Vandersloot are slow. On defense. They are. They're slow on defense. You can take them. Take them to the basket um, and make some stuff happen. Lindsey Allen is faster than both of them. And I I don't understand why that was not recognized by the sky and why they didn't run that over and over and over. You know, she, she scores five quick points, and that was it. You, you, you don't even, you don't even, you don't even go back to it. Yes, yes, what Lindsey Allen did was not an actual play, but, like, you saw it work twice, back-to-back. Back. Why don't you say, you know what, Lindsey, next play, do that again. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again until the New York Liberty adjust. And when they adjust, then pass that ball to the open man because they're going to eventually have to adjust and, and like, and, 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 and sort of uh, meet you right there in the paint. And I, I, I just... I just don't understand. Like, it doesn't make any sense to me. Um, uh, so that's that's one of those things that I... I, I there, were, there were massive opportunities uh, for uh, players to do more for the Chicago Sky, um, can, uh, for Lindsey Allen to get to the basket, score. Uh, but I, again, as a point guard, I think she played well, but I think she could have been more aggressive. Sometimes she's a little bit too unselfish, a little bit too unselfish, in my opinion. Um, but yeah, that's kind of my thoughts on that. Um... I don't know, guys. What do what do y'all uh, what do y'all think? What do y'all think? Uh, Patrick said you had so much hope for Dana as, as the starting point guard. I did, I did. And guys, y'all can go back. Y'all can go back and look. I feel like I, I had uh, several videos um, early in the season where I was like, I was, I was like, um, Dana Evans is PG one for the Chicago Sky, and she's going to she's going to be a, a really good player for us and all this other stuff. Like I, I, I was realistic, like, oh, she's gonna have like she's not gonna have the best start, uh, probably, uh, but she was gonna get it together. But like, it just never worked. It, it, it just never worked. Um, and, and at some point, I, I was wrong. I was absolutely, hey, I was wrong on that one. Um, and you got, you got to, you got to admit it. Um, Dana Evans is not point guard. Like she can't. Where, whereas Courtney Williams was able to sort of switch from, okay, I'm a, I'm a guard that shoots and and plays defense to a, I'm a player who has to distribute the ball and I have to play the point guard role and, I, and I'm going to do it well. Um, Dana Evans doesn't have 
court vision. She doesn't. She doesn't have court vision. And you can't have a point guard with, without court vision. And because this was the first real time that we actually really did get to see um, Dana really, really um, play point guard. Yes, she's played point guard in the past for the Chicago Sky, but that was coming off the bench largely. And uh, she wasn't a passing point guard. She was more of a point guard. Sure, pass the ball around, but um, but it was more of um, it was more about uh, her getting her shot and playing defense last year and the year before that. So you know, hey. She's a solid shooting guard. She needs to embrace that. She needs to stop doing these crazy passes, and her shot's going to fall. Um, but if you keep doing crazy passes, uh, random ideas at the last second, you're going to turn over the ball, and, you know, it, it is what it is. You're going to get you're gonna sit on the bench. So that's my sort of recap about the Chicago Sky. Also, thing to note, guys, is uh, Angel Reese got another double-double. Now, this one was a, a, a scan of her teeth double-double. Um, 10 points, 10 rebounds for Angel Reese. Uh, not the most efficient game. I will say that there was, you know, there's a lot of bodies around her when she was shooting some of her shots. But again, she does need to be more efficient. Um, but something to note is she, she and the rest of the Chicago Sky team is, you know, off of a back to back. They played yesterday afternoon, and they play again. They played again today. Um, you know, it, it, it's a lot. It's a lot. A lot of wear and tear. Um, Angel went out in the third quarter with a with a uh, with a limp. She was a little bit gimpy, um, off out of a play. Um, not sure if that was cramps or like what exactly that was, uh, but but yeah. So she she ended up coming back in the game and finishing the rest of the game out. I think she played the entire fourth quarter, um, but yeah, she she played okay. Her, her field goal was was abysmal. It was absolutely abysmal um, for today, but. Um, for the sky, I think it really does start with more on the guard perspective because for the most part, the posts the posts are fine. You got Angel and Camilla and Izzy. You you can ride the rest of the season with those with those three players as long as no one gets hurt, right? Uh, uh, you know, I, I think you ride with those three players um, because Elizabeth Williams is out for the rest of the season. And again, if I'm Teaspoon, you you need to give. Camilla and Angel more looks in that fourth quarter together. All right, it, it to me it, it was ridiculous that uh, with two minutes left to go, the game was not crazy out of hand. The, the sky still could have come back. It was a slim chance, but they they still had a chance in that in that fourth quarter with uh, two minutes left to go. Uh, it was a it was a twelve point game uh, at that point. Um, the score was uh, eighty four New York Liberty. 72 uh, Chicago Sky and Teaspoon takes out all the players, puts in the bench players. And I was like, why? The game wasn't over yet. You still had two minutes left to go. You're only losing by 12 points. Like it's, it's not that insurmountable. You could have called a timeout. Let's say, Hey, we, we let's, let's draw up some stuff. Let's get creative instead of just giving up on the game and just putting in the bench players and you put the bench players plus Camilla in. And I like, like, yeah, I, I, I wasn't, I wasn't, I wasn't a fan of that. Like, I, you have, you have your starter coming, coming in the game with like the other, the other, um, you know, bench, bench players who didn't really play at all the entire game. Um, I just, I, don't know, I, I, I don't like it. I, I think, I think Camilla should, should have had way more minutes because she's playing well. It's, it's, it's one thing if Camilla's playing bad. If Camilla was playing bad, I have no problem benching her. No problem, but she wasn't. Yes, Izzy was playing well, but again, Camilla gives you stuff that Izzy and Angel cannot do. That is being a a um, a very very visible defensive threat. You're not really gonna go in the paint like that against uh against Camilla where you would against Angel and Izzy. Cause yeah, sure they can play defense, but they're not they're not six seven. They're not gonna block your shot like uh, Camilla does. Um, and so, yeah, I mean, that's, that's the thing. Um, Paris says, Quita, it's kind of insulting, a eh? uh, about Camilla. Yeah, I, I, um, I, I really didn't like it. Yeah, I, I don't know. To me, it's kind of, kind of embarrassing, you know, to, to put your starter that didn't do anything wrong, um, at all, um, sit her and then put her in when you're putting, um, the rest of the players in like, the, like, like scrub minutes, 
at the end of the fourth quarter. Um, so I'm 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 just saying, guys. I'm I'm just saying. Like I just I don't get it. Uh, I'm still trying to figure out what exactly the strategy is. But even with that being said, I am still a huge believer in um in uh, the coaching staff for the Chicago Sky. Like I am. I really am a huge believer in it. Like I, I think I think they're gonna learn a lot from this season and they're gonna get a lot better um, as as uh, as next season comes about. You know, off season, all that stuff. We are, we have a brand new team, basically, and a lot of WNBA teams have have like new new players, a lot of new players on the roster. But the sky more than everybody else, basically a wholesale change for the from the roster from last year to this year. Uh, brand new coach, brand new coaching staff, growing pains. Absolutely, there there are stuff that I'm seeing that I'm like, you know what, that was a bad move, uh, coaching wise. Like shouldn't have did that and whatnot. But even with that being said, I still do believe in what um, in what they're building, um, and maybe that's me being naive, but um, I, I, I still have a lot of confidence in um, years to come. The Chicago being the Chicago Sky being a good team this year doesn't doesn't work that great. Doesn't work that great. Um, Wicked says, does sitting Camilla help Angel with her double double run? I don't think so. I know there's a lot of people there's a lot of people who say that, um, and I really don't think so because guys remember. When did when did this uh when did this double double streak start? When Camilla came back, this this whole double double streak with Angel Reese and whatnot that started when Camilla uh when Camilla came back um and, and was healthy for the Chicago Sky, and we start and we started seeing double doubles from uh from Angel Reese. I mean consecutive double doubles. Like I, I actually think I actually think that Camilla helps. The more Camilla is on the floor, the more it helps Angel get rebound because. Um, when it's just Angel, a lot, I think a lot of the attention about competing with her for the rebound, it goes to Angel. But when both of them are in, you got you to gotta get both of them. So one of them getting it. One of them are get, is getting the rebound. So to me, I, I, actually think, um, I actually think they help. They help each other get rebounds, personally. Um, personally, I think it helps. They, they, they help each other. But that's just my opinion. Um, today... Today, today, it, it you know not having Camilla, I think actually really did benefit Angel uh, to get that double double. But for the most part, I don't think it helps Angel for the most part. Uh, but today, yeah, it did. Uh, Sinister, it would um, if Copper was on this team. I don't think Copper and Kennedy could could play on the same team. I don't think they could play on the same team because they're to me they're both basically the same player. It's just that Copper is taller than Kennedy. Like I, I, I don't think they both could play on the same team. Well, they could, but Kennedy would come off the bench, and she wouldn't be as effective as she is now. Um, so those are kind of my thoughts about the post game, um, about the game. Again, the, the New York Liberty win at ninety-one to seventy-six. I think this is a, was a very, very winnable game for the Chicago Sky. But you know, hey, you gotta you gotta play like you want it. You have to play like you want it. Um, the New York Liberty go off like gangbusters in that second half, especially in that fourth quarter. Uh, shout out to um, Kayla Thornton. Shout out to Sabrina Inescu, um, Brianna Stewart, John Quill Jones. They all played really, really, really well today for the Chicago Sky. It really was just it was Kennedy Carter, it was Marina, it was Izzy that was doing their thing. Um, but more work needs to be done on um, the schemes that the Chicago Sky run. More needs to be done on, on their schemes uh, because that does give a lot more to be desired. A whole lot more to be. Uh, but yeah, anyway, guys, that is the video. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if y'all enjoyed this, please hit that like button. That really does help the channel out a whole, whole, whole lot. Um, also hit that subscribe button as well. Uh, I make content all about women's basketball. So if that is your thing, I would love it if you all could uh, hit that like and subscribe. Also tell a neighbor, tell a friend that Queen of Love Sports is on the internet talking about women's basketball, not in a clickbaity way, not in a... Um, not in a negative way, but in a way that is built, that is meant to grow the game of women's basketball. Because ultimately, I love the WNBA. I love women's college basketball. Women's basketball is my thing. That is my favorite sport ever. And I want to, I want the game to grow. I want the game to grow in fans, um, in um, interest, all that good stuff. Um, and with your help, we can all do that. We can all grow the game together. So uh, thank you so much for rocking with me. And, uh, guys, until next time, goodbye.